Hi, in this video I'd just like to go through setting up your Fallout New Vegas and to do so depending on your game version, retail, Steam or GOG um, just open your game folder to start with. If you use Steam all you have to do is go to the Steam library right click properties local files and browse local files and once you've done that then we'll go to the mod. In order to set up the game you want to do a search in Google for um, Fallout New Vegas multi-core threading. Once you do that the Nexus mod should come up. I'll also make a link in the bottom of the video. Once you get here there's a couple things for pre-install um, first, if you haven't done uh, DX9 final install, you should do so. You want to download the file and run it, and then tell it to extract to CDX. Then after, go to the CDX and run the DX setup file. Once you've extracted it to C colon slash dx then the files will be placed and you just have to open up your C drive go to that folder right there and run the dx setup file as I said that will install the dx9 final release if you've already installed dx9 then you just want to run the dx web setup this will check your files, update anything, and tell you if your files are actually up to date. Once you've downloaded it, just run it. And you just have to accept. Uncheck that unless you want Bing. And you'll either get a progress indicator or a message saying that you're up to date. Now, if you're a Windows 10 user and you had an upgrade recently and your game stopped working, then you should check to see if there's a new drivers out. If not, then I would roll back the drivers temporarily. Usually they'll address the issue in a new driver and sometimes you may have to wait. As well, if you want to disable your pop-ups as a Win 10 user to increase your overall system performance, you can go here and it will explain how to disable your pop-ups. You can either disable them all or disable them individually. Now once you've done this, you want to go to the game folder and first create a new folder called original and in that you want to copy your Fallout New Vegas launcher and the Fallout default file place a copy don't drag and drop them into the original folder so that you have the two here and you'll still have two here once you've done that then you want to do the first step here which is downloading the files so you'll just go to the files download manually and you want the script extender because we'll be applying the 4 gigabyte patch to that and that will be launching your game the patch works with either version and can be applied to either so just download whatever you prefer. Once you've done the two downloads, then you want to first open the um, patch files. Once you've opened them, you want to place the Fallout default and the 4 gigabyte patch in your game folder just overwrite the existing one because you already made a backup. Once you do this, 
open your computer again and go to my documents my games Fallout New Vegas and just drag and drop that Fallout I and I in there once you've done that you can close the documents folder leave your game folder open you can also close the first patch now at this point you want to run the um, Fallout New Vegas launcher if you haven't run your game at least once in order for it to um, accept the new changes. The Fallout default will write changes into the Fallout I and I so you don't want to write protect that. Make sure it's not write protected. If you have any changes that you'd like to make to the game in addition to the changes that are already made just add them to the Fallout default then copy that and rename it to Fallout I and I and place that in your My Games folder. Okay, so if you've run the game um, at least once, then you'll want to adjust your options. I have my DSR enabled and can access all the uh, available resolutions. I find 2100 to 2500 works best on my 1920 by 1080. If you have a 4K monitor, I would suggest using a 4K setting. Once you've done that, I usually set mine on Ultra, and then you just adjust the setting. And I would suggest running it at least once with the new settings. If you've already done that, then you want to go on to the script extender. You want to extract that into your game folder. So you'll open this folder and then just drag and drop these files into your game folder. Now once you've done that, you've already made a copy of the follow launcher. So you can actually just copy the name from the original because you're going to want to use that that name with the script extender. So just copy that and go back and you want to take this one and delete it. Then you want to go to your NBS loader and you want to rename that to follow launcher. Now that that's complete, your game will launch normally from your Steam library and it will allow you to keep track of time and such. So that's um, basically that. Now you want to run the 4 gigabyte patch. And in this case you're going to apply it to the script extender. So find the renamed um, script extender right here. Follow New Vegas Launcher. You can also isolate the files by setting it to exe. And then just apply the patch to that. And you're all set. So you can minimize this if you're planning on um, adding the EMB and suite effects, which you just go through this link and you'll find the files that you need and you just want to place those in the game folder also with the other files and it will work. Um, if you get a crash after placing the EMB, I would suggest going into the alt d3 d9 folder that comes with it and alternating through one of the four there just by copying it and pasting a copy over top of the existing one in the game folder and that normally will sort out the issue 
Now for additional downloads, there's CleanMem. Basically, this isolates your processes so your games run better. So you want to add the game exe names that you're using to the game folder and set it to 10 minutes. Just follow the video here for the setup. There is one step that's actually different in the video than the actual new setup. You'll come across a um, extra step so when you get to that point just click next and you'll match right back up with the video. The game companion or fake full screen is quite good. If you have any problem with your key functions I would suggest looking into that. It has um, good videos and setup information. Uh, mod organizer users just look here in order to set everything up properly. One last note if you haven't set up DSR or VSR before, depending on whether you have NVIDIA or ATI, I would suggest checking here and make sure to check off all of the resolution boxes so that you have all the high definition resolutions available to you. You want to also set your DSR smoothing at 100% if you're using an NVIDIA. As well, if you prefer the um, cropped version or the default version of the pit boy rather than the one that fits within the game screen you can make an alteration to the follow default INI and follow INI by changing this line from 52 to its default of 47. Lastly if you have any problems starting the game and it's not the A and B, I would first try a restart. Just shut down and restart your computer. Normally you don't have to, but just in case. One additional note for NVIDIA users, if you don't record your games or share your gameplay and you want to get rid of the NVIDIA pop-up in the mic um, that shows up in the lower corner, you just want to open your GeForce Experience, go to your settings up in the right corner there, and turn off your in-game overlay. Then close that and don't worry about it. Once that's done, that will turn off the uh, pop-up that comes up from the NVIDIA and will prevent it from creating stutters in your game. If you are using it, then by all means uh, just adjust it to the way you would normally record with it. That's about it. If you want to look at the bottom I have some other mods that I've made. It, you can get to them through the various links that are provided and if you have any questions feel free to leave them um, as well as leave them at the bottom of the video here. As far as it goes, if there's anything else, just ask. Um, and I hope this helped set up your Fallout New Vegas. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you again.